Hey, this is Patrice O'Neill, and this is the worst of Colin Quinn on the Opie and Anthony show. You remember Colin? He had a TV show in the early 90s. The early... Colin's always on TV the early decade. He was on in the early 80s in uh, on MTV, the early 90s on SNL, and the early 2000s. Watch out, 3001. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> Watch out. Watch out, 2022. Colin will be back, you motherfucker. By the way, another reason why MTV sucks. They won't play the new Disturbed video. It's too controversial. The controversial? It's what? too controversial. What is in it that is too controversial? Too many white people? What's in it? Yeah, too, many, too many white people. <laughs> What's too controversial? I would love to know. Ben, do you know? Oh, uh, I think I know whole now. What? I think I know who who knows this. Could it be? He, he knows better than I do. I, he I knows know everything. About... Oh, here he comes. <laughs> yeah, look at him. He's got he's got a smoking jacket on now. <laughs> What's what up are with you the smoking doing? Jacket. It was sitting in my studio. I guess somebody had it in there previously. You know what the best thing is? Right before he walks in, I see him turn backwards and open the door with his back so he doesn't spill his martini. <laughs> like it jiggles a little and just about bumps the rim of the glass. The martini. Then he just spins right around the olive. Kind of swirls slowly in the glass as he stops. Usually, when we give someone uh, a nickname around here, they hate it, and they, you know. But you're going with it. You're kind of working with it. That's oh, good. Yeah, look at me smile every He's time. He's got a music winger smoking on. jacket on. That's nice. <laughs> nice logo in the back there, Steve. Here, here's a guy that likes his nickname. <laughs> so you know something about why they're. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's very, uh, it's very uh, Holocaust-ish, um, very September 11th-ish. Buildings blowing up, like yeah. it's uh, the singer from Disturbed walking down a crowded city street, and there's a huge explosion off in the distance, and there's people burning to a crisp, and buildings yeah. falling down. What's bad about that? I, I don't personally I mean, find anything wrong it in with it. Apparently, not, the not asking MTA you. Had an issue with it. It's Steve, it. not asking you. Take another sip. Everything's fine. <laughs> it's the rea- <laughs> It's the reality of our world these days. Yeah. And if he wants to turn it into, you know, a video uh, art, whatever, uh, if it has something to do with one of his songs and he wants to put it on there, what, 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 who's MTV's problem? They're all scared. A bunch of chicks running the networks. What do you they're, expect? They're all scared. Yeah. Uh, no one knows how to be edgy anymore in entertainment. They're, f- uh, right. they're just the worst. Yeah. There goes Martini Steve. And uh, now with his winger smoking jacket. There it goes. Wow. Yeah. Martini Steve. Trust me, we know it's uh, annoying as hell, but what else are we going to do? Right. Isn't it weird? I, that, t- that time, one of the interns actually had to hold the door open because he had just lit one of those cigarettes in the long cigarette holder, <laughs> yeah. and he had the martini in the other hand, and he's looking around like, hey, open the door. He's looking around like, whoa, hey. I, I can't I, open the door like this. I don't have a third hand. What Clay, Bertrand. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> All right, uh, we got to get the trainee story out before we move on here. Mm. Well, I just want to know, you you and uh, Colin, Colin Quinn, Quinn... At his suggestion. At his suggestion, went to see trannies... Sing. Guys dressed like women... Yes. Sing. Yes. Now, this sounds like the gayest night I know out... it does. ...that you could have with another man. No, I've had gayer experience with a tranny, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> I've, Why? Seen, I've seen one hum. <laughs> <laughs> What, like, how, first of all, how did Colin approach you with this? Um, you hey, to... uh, you know what? You want to go see some tranny sing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I figured it'd be fun. <laughs> we'll go. Trannies, they sing. I don't know. You want to go? You, you do, you don't. I... He had gone the week earlier. Yeah. And came to report that there was a fine show. He went the week earlier, yes. so he's going back. Yes. What's up with Colin Quinn? What's up with Colin? And, um, I don't know. Occasionally, I like a man. <laughs> <laughs> what? So what did you guys see? It was uh, two trannies. And I have to tell you, I went. I, I, I figured it would be a goof. Of course. They were really good. Good what? Singers. Singing good? They, they weren't hot, so I didn't have the whole, like, well, maybe if no one I knew was here. They, were, they weren't wow, like those uh, trannies that... Uh, what were they singing that they were, were considered good? I, we, we sat through, like, one and a half shows. They we, sing like... Don't they sing like... show tunes? Lies no. in the and all that crap. No, they were really good. They had two of the best voices I've ever heard. What do they sing? 
Um, the only this one. This is where you bury yourself. Go ahead. What do they sing, Jim? I don't know most of the songs. I know one. <laughs> I, I'll tell you. I don't know those They names. did a couple Ozzy songs. <laughs> they didn't do any Ozzy. No? The one did a version of uh, uh, Nights in White Satin, which was good. All right. And the other one, which I really loved the version, uh, he <laughs> did of. Uh, so hard to say. <laughs> did of uh, uh, Burning Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash. I really enjoyed it. Burning Ring of Fire. I enjoyed yeah, I'm watching sure there's another to... Burning Ring of Fire <laughs> exactly. in his pants. They got the Burning Ring. The I Burning mean. Ring. I enjoyed watching. Nights in White Satin. <laughs> oh, never reaching my end. Oh, letters are oh, never meaning to sound. They were delightful. Delightful tranny singing popular songs of the days of yore. Great, great voice. I really there's a place called Bardo, and I don't know them. I'm not Bardo. Bardo, uh, yep. as in Bridget, Bridget Bardo, Bardo, one of the favorite actresses of the Fags. Oh, Is she? of course, it's Barry's old uh, it's blonde. Barry Bardo. <laughs> <laughs> So you you saw uh, yes, a was, show and a half, or we stayed for because Colin. Uh, why a friend why would you? Because was an a old friend. friend. Oh, a friend. Ones. No, it was a female friend. Someone oh, I knew. Actually, you sure? A long time ago, he had talked to her. And they were just gonna hang. Yes, I'm positive. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I thought maybe you know Tranny Blaze. <laughs> yeah, but they had wanted to see it, so we got to meet there. And, you know, yeah, it was yeah. uneventful. A lot of uh, what was the uh, audience like? Um, uh, all gay men. Right. And me and Carl. <laughs> Couple yeah. of, uh, ah. Did they do this one? Well, how no. about Dancing Queen? No. They Very not. popular song now with Mamma Mia, such a big hit on Broadway. They did not do this song. Did you go see Mamma Mia on I Broadway with Colin? certainly didn't. That's a great show. Uh, they do a uh, ABBA. You can dance all you can drive, having the time of your life. Sit on my lap, Jimmy. Oh. I think it's a girl. Oh. Look at the closet clean. Oh. No? I try to show my diverse entertainment interests. I get accused of just being an Aussie fanatic. You I am, being with trannies it wasn't isn't sexual. that odd. You know what? You just out gayed and I. Yeah. What? Well, there's things we admit to on this show that puts us in the gay zone, but you just, you, you out gayed us with this one. That's not gay. I didn't think not gay. I never knew Colin Quinn was gay. He's not gay. <laughs> what? He's not gay. Anybody could be that. Two men go to the tranny club. I, I know it doesn't look good on the it surface. It really doesn't. But it was to enjoy. There was actually a couple of straight well, couples Wait, wait, we know you pretty well. What did he say to get you to go there? Yeah. You don't do anything. It was more like he said, I, I saw this tranny singer who was great. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be hilarious. I, that, really, that's all he had to say to me. I saw so this tranny singer. She's great. Do you want to go? Yeah, man, sure. I'm easy. You're a fag, too. <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fag. I got to tell you, it was really good. I don't know. I, fag. It was, it's probably a setup by all your friends. They got together and go, you know what? We need to know. Colin, make believe you really care about this tranny place and, oh. and invite Jim and see if he goes for it. <laughs> there were two singers. Yeah. Joey Arias was one. I think that's the name. Joey Arias? And my particular favorite was Raven O. <laughs> You remember the names? I certainly do. Raven O. Raven is such a trainee name. Yeah, I don't get. It. Yeah, Ugh. but Raven O. It was, they were oh. really great singers. I got to. Yeah, you know, let's, yeah. Go, to, let's yeah. go to Trippy. Right. Trippy, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. hey, I've been to that place. I was there about five years ago. And and I had a great time. Oh, cool! It's, it's no more gay than staring at mannequin man junk in Miami. You know what? That's uh, an excellent gayer. point, sir. Thank you little, very much. A little gayer. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, when I went there, it, was, it wasn't just all gay guys. They had lesbians there, and they were straight people. I mean, it was all a mix. Couple yeah. of, it was predominantly gay men, but there was a couple of straight couples, because they asked, are there any gay guys here? And they all went, ooh. You know, yeah, like, oh, there was a good amount. There was a good Did amount. Did they say, are there any gay guys here? How many gay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They asked, how, what, what's the audience? I thought how many maybe gays? there was like a catchphrase. How many of the, you know. Did you raise your hand? Going, I ah, what's up? certainly the didn't. Let's just be goofy. Dude, I, and I Let's felt like a, silly. You know how an ugly... I'm going to raise two hands. And all, why am I sticking to the seat? They're all good-looking people, and I'm standing there in my Black Sabbath t-shirt just standing out like a little straight white jersey <laughs> So you were upset jersey, that retard. the men dressed like women weren't finding you attractive? No, 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 no. I just meant... <laughs> what? No, not, no? No, it's not what I'm saying. I thought that's exactly what you <laughs> it's said. It's not what I'm saying at all. <laughs> you really are a creep. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
right. Uh, uh, it's just a, a couple of guys. Did you get any um, uh, movement in the front of my trousers? Just did you no, get any movement? No, I didn't. <laughs> no? No, I wasn't turned on. Not attractive in the least. Hayden, what's up? Yo, what's up, man? I've been to the show yeah. down at Bardo, and uh, there's this one dude, who Joey Arias, I think his name. He looks yes. like Fred Flintstone, but he does Billy Holiday. Amazing. Phenomenal. Billy Holiday. <laughs> what, every gay guy loves Billy Holiday. I don't like Billy Holiday. but no, the, I don't the, like Billy Holiday, but it's amazing well, to see this dude that looks like Fred Flintstone. An exception to the rule, then. The stuff was great. Yeah, it was incredible. But the guy looks like Fred Flintstone. <laughs> Pretty much in drag. <laughs> Fred Flintstone hey, in Barney. drag. <laughs> right. Fred Flintstone hey, with like, Spock guy brows. Bad Fred. <laughs> hey, Fred, uh, no, why don't you a... do me? <laughs> and they had a little band with them. Great little band, too. A little, uh, little stand-up bass player and a little drummer and, a, I guess, guitar player yeah. in a little area. Yeah, it's good. Did you put your head on Colin's shoulder? No, I didn't put my head on oh, Colin's when shoulder. When started singing love songs. No, I didn't. It wasn't a close moment. We each had a seltzer. We chatted, and I'm like, wow, they were really good. I'm, I'm a meaty-breasted little nothing, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm going to go back again. I don't. You will not discourage me. You will go back I said, again. I, they were really good, man. And with just, your partner, Colin? No, not with my partner, Colin. <laughs> partner. Are you guys not my be partner. Adopting soon? No, we're not adopting. <laughs> I really don't like either of you. He happens to be a very good, straight friend of mine that we <laughs> just went to do something. Fast forward ten years, is crying Jimmy Norton by the bedside of an emaciated Colin Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> Applying makeup to all of his bruises on his face and arms. <laughs> with, their oh, little, horrible. with their little adopted lad by, uh, by little side. Vietnamese boy bouncing. And I'm like, don't do that. Daddy's sick. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. You know I love you. <laughs> Jimmy, who's going to be daddy now? <laughs> did did Colin that get any? The mommy in the, uh, relationship, I got you know, it. Okay. I got it. I realized yeah, that. Right, that Colin get any at the end of the uh, night? No, we we all went out to eat afterwards, and then it was when I dropped Kyle off at the end. There was nothing. There was no sex. You Just dropped hanging. him off in Collins' end. No, I didn't drop it off oh, in Collins' oh, end. Oh, you drop I heard, in the end? I, I, my ears. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't drop one off. On barely, Colin. barely here. I really wish he was here because I could use the help. Yeah. <laughs> it bugs me. It was not a gay thing no, at all. It, it sounds fun. like a fun night out. Yeah, it doesn't sound gay at all. No, I'm no, glad. I think that I would recommend you both go. Oh. Together? No, you have girlfriends. Just me and Opie? You're, you're both straight men. You I, can enjoy it. I think we would go to a, a football game. <laughs> I would, too. I didn't give up the Yankees in football. Like, oh, no more for me, guys. Right. But I just happened to enjoy no, that. see Jeter. You sure did not. <laughs> <laughs> you sure didn't give up on the Yankees. Uh, it, was, uh, uh, it was a good show. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Did they do this one for you? They certainly did not do this. No? One. No. This is a big hit. And I'm going to request Burning Community. Ring of Fire when I go back. That was yeah. my favorite moment. Mm, the crying. The crying game. I thought, I thought it was a girl. I had a feeling it was a judgment error to bring this up. Something told me yeah. this one you keep Yeah, probably you don't want to bring this one up. All right. I enjoyed it. Hey, what? what's the harm? Two guys. Men. Go out. Then, then Jim and Colin <laughs> went to the tranny bar. Then it... So guys dressed like girls singing great songs. The only reason they were there was because of the music and not the fact that they were guys dressed like girls. Oh, 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 oh. Guys dressed like girls. His name was Bob, but he called himself Wendy. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Philadelphia. And, uh, he used to do the news on SNL, but now he's doing Jim Norton's A. <laughs> That's really hurtful. Jimmy says he's not gay. <laughs> That's very mean spirited. It really is. I'm sorry. I apologize to Jimmy. It was fun. You finally decided to socialize, and this is what you. Do. This is what you do. It was something. It was something different. I'm like, you know what? I, I'm too close-minded, and I went and I, I got. I just tell you, I would. It, it would be more funny if I wanted to trash it, and it stunk. But I enjoyed it. I can't even trash it. It, it was took funny. one night to do something other than go around Manhattan and perform twenty. Oh no, that was after my day. second show. It was. Yes. Mm. Uh -huh. oh, Anyone hit on you there? No one hit on me, dude. <laughs> Women don't hit on me. Gay guys have a higher standard than they do. They're not yeah, hitting on me. That's I'm true. awful. 
I'm not a. I, I don't get hit on by uh, any of the gay guys. I have. That's why I have no homophobia, paranoia. Like, hey, just don't touch me. You ever see gay guys? They're all mild. Well, I'm there awful. Was, there was one tree for it episode, but <laughs> you know, since then, not one gay guy's come on to me. Yeah, you didn't have to start uh, snoring during the performance, did you? <laughs> hey, uh, what do you say? Jim. Jim. Jim, you want a job? <laughs> Jim. You, you fall asleep during the show? I, I, you want me to suck your <laughs> Come on. <laughs> He's asleep. Let me just. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slip my hands down his pants and see if he wakes up. <laughs> God, that's a nice fat. <laughs> no, I was watching the show. I'm just watching the show. I'm not doing it. Someone wants to know if the stools were upside down. No, they weren't. <laughs> so they could fit more people in the club. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a popular show. You know how they like to squeeze more yeah, people in these places. Did yeah. Colin push your stool in no, when you didn't. sat? No? <laughs> Someone wants to know if you went to the after party at the Ramrod. <laughs> no and no, I did not. We sat no. there. And I stood, actually. All right. And the couple in front of us, there was a... a, a, uh, what? a what? What? Yeah. There was yeah. a couple, a guy-girl couple in front of us talking very loudly and being very rude. Oh. <laughs> you were you were bothered because you wanted to focus on the show. I wanted, it was a very it's a very very small place. Probably this a little bit bigger than the studio in the green room. So you say with everything going on, the girl is the thing that annoyed you the most. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's what I heard. Ed. That's what I heard. Uh, yeah. Yes, if, now that I think about it, <laughs> would it have been better if there were just no girls there? No, it wouldn't have been better. You're, okay, well, they, just well, they, you know what? You're, it would have been better. <laughs> <laughs> just a bunch of men enjoying some music. Were they cramping your style? These women? No, they. Men. <laughs> Just a bunch of men. Were well, they referred to as little bitches <laughs> by anybody, no? Ew, they have boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Seltzer and enjoyed the show. And I'm going back. Everything. And I'm proud to say that. All right. All right. We'll enjoy any form of entertainment. Yeah. Back uh, when men were transvestites yeah, yeah. having other men do things to these men. Yeah, yeah. I have me. Wow, this gets... Oh, jeez. I don't want to get the AIDS, fellas. Anthony, yeah. this gets even better. Yes, Brett. Hey, how you doing? All right. Hey, uh, Jim Norton's coming to Lakewood, Ohio. Well, I just wanted to let uh, Jim and everybody else know that Lakewood is the second gayest population, second only to uh, San Francisco. <laughs> oh. Is it really? So, is it a yes, little it gay is. area? Oh, I'm sure that's just another coincidence. Huh? It yeah. is a coincidence. <laughs> I did not know that. Yes, it, it is. So you should be fitting right in there, looking Thank like you. a lesbian and everything. Woo! Thank you, sir. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to your stage, Jim Norton. Jim Norton. Yeah. Dressed up like Dolly Parton. You thought you were seeing a comedy show. Well, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Back in his way to the stage right now. You might recognize him from the Opie and Anthony show out of New York. It's Jimmy Norton. Let's give a big hand for Jimmy Norton. Jimmy Norton, former Tampa Bay cheerleader. <laughs> She's got all the moves. Let her hear it. Let her hear it, people. Make sure to uh, tip the dancers. They're doing this for you guys. Look at Jimmy go. Come on. Second dance, Jimmy takes his shorts off, and he really lets it all hang out. Look at there's Colin Quinn joining him on stage. Colin Quinn, you might remember him from uh, SNL. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm using uh, Jim Doyle's real name. Let's use his stage name. Make way for Soupy Drek. <laughs> Soupy Drek taking the stage. What a beautiful set of cats on Soupy Drek. Yeah, dance it out, guys. There they go. Look at all these men coming over and uh, handing the money. Isn't this great? Here in the gayest area of Cleveland. <laughs> you know I love you, Jimmy. Yeah, I really asked for it this time. I deserve this. <laughs> Dummy I am. I never should have agreed to go to that. <laughs> 
<laughs> and he said there was not much to this story. I didn't think there was. I, uh, holy, I figured you guys would go, ah, oh, trannies, huh? And then move right on. <laughs> only, only 40 minutes of good radio. I forgot the improv skills. <laughs> Did Colin at some point go, I'm, I'm Miss Kenoba? <laughs> There was no crying about other men. There or, was no, no crying okay. about other men. It was right. just we stood there and we had our seltzers and laughed. A little seltzer. A little seltzer right. and had that's dinner good. after okay. in a French restaurant. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's so a little French went on. That'll yes. help you get to the, yeah. back to the man zone. It was very good food. Suck it. <laughs> right. That's good. All right. Well, there it is. Their little night. It was a nice night. It sounds like a lot of fun. And um, What's the harm? Tuesday. and I don't know if I'm going this Tuesday, but I will go again. You'll go again? I certainly will. Mm-hmm. It's a short show. It's less than an hour. Oh, show which I like. That's I, I, quick. Yeah, it's forty-five minutes. There's like four or five songs, and that's the show. You're, you and Colin in out, <laughs> done. Right? Yeah. Fast. That's good. We go in, good. go out. Yeah. Did they hold hands during nights in white? Sex? No, we no, didn't hold hands. No. From Maryland, don't be silly. <laughs> yeah. Of course, they didn't hold hands. They were too busy making out. That would be gay. <laughs> I didn't did like... you did you compliment the singers to each other? Like you lean over and go, "Jeepers, Colin, thanks for taking me." Boy, he really can belt it out. Hey, Joe from Philly wants to know uh, if, yes. if uh, Jim is changing the website from eatabullet.com to eataseed.com. No, I'm not changing the website at all. Well, Hung wants to know how many Shirley Temples did Jim pound <laughs> pound back to loosen up. <laughs> oh, you yeah. Uh, and um, Pyro from Toronto, lay off Jimmy. He's not gay. He's just desperate. <laughs> <laughs> I shook the hand of uh, one of the singers, Joey Arias, and I said it was a great show. And uh, Ooh, said, thank you very much. You got to meet the. Were you by the? Were you and Colin by the backstage door? No, there's no backstage. It's oh a small no, small little bar area. And the other Raven Dash O, I actually wanted to meet and say great show, but I did not. Oh, did because you get a picture with either I, of them? They're not famous. No, I did not get a picture. I thought maybe you'd put that up on your website. I certainly wouldn't. That would be kind of cool. Now it would be kind of cool to see. Um, in, hind- in hindsight. Yeah, that's the funny little <laughs> things you think of later. <laughs> <laughs> These yeah. little things. Uh, Frenchie. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up? I was vacation, huh? It was uh, great. All right, Frenchie. Jim Norton, you a faggot, man. I, I'm not a faggot. <laughs> Were you wearing a skirt that night, too? No, I wasn't wearing a skirt. Transvestite? <laughs> whore? What? Transvestite. Oh. No, we enjoyed our vacation, and I wasn't wearing a skirt, you yeah. stroke victim. Otherwise, I enjoyed would, the show it would, it would with my friend like, Colin. Go down your leg, all the way down to your feet, you whore. <laughs> huh? You faggot. <laughs> Suck it, you faggot. That's what we probably said to the waiters over there. Huh? <laughs> How about you suck my sea, you faggot? <laughs> Sous moi. Yeah, exactly. Sous moi, poufias. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I am not gay. I'm not. I just enjoy the yeah, show. You just enjoy the guys. That's it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you feel gay. like you have to defend yourself? No, yeah. I'm. We were just asking questions. I'm only saying. I just <laughs> enjoy the show. And now Frenchie is calling. And uh, maybe I'll give his restaurant a plug and give out no, the no, location. No, 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 no. You not. You <laughs> faggot. You all about. <laughs> there are about ten thousand people in front of the window throwing rocks at it. You <laughs> faggot. <laughs> Die. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I take it back, you faggot. All right, All right guys, man. take it All easy. Right, we don't want to burn right. you out. No so. problem, bye. Right, bye. That's the nude photo threat. Yeah, you know, huh? I'll put them on the internet. That's it. <laughs> put them right on the internet, you bastard. Uh, Chris from Long Island says that he saw uh, Colin po- cutting out the bottom of his popcorn container <laughs> and then putting it in his lap and having you <laughs> eat popcorn out of it. Was there popcorn available there? There was no popcorn All right, available. Then he's obviously lying. I, well, I, I, I don't know about that because we have audio of Colin Quinn when uh, Jim Norton was reaching into the popcorn oh. thing there. Oh, you like that, don't you, faggot? <laughs> <laughs> Did they have hot chowder down there? <laughs> no, was they did. It was no? a bar atmosphere. All there right. was no food available to anybody. Okay. How many Cosmos were just flying off the bar? I bet a lot. <laughs> Cosmo, Cosmo, Cosmo. <laughs> mm. Yeah. All right. It well, sounds fun. Sounds interesting. Sure. Yes, it was a good good time. Hey, it's Louis C.K., and this is the worst of Colin Quinn on the Open Anthony Show. Colin, who, uh, is, is it, when is it going to be over for that fucking old, unfunny, Irish f- 
faggot. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Colin Quinn is in the studio. He ran down in the studio. I guess if you're just tuning in, um, Norton was giving us a cute little story about uh, seeing a, a, a tranny thing, right? There were uh, tranny singers. Yeah. Transvestite singers, and uh, Colin had seen them before and thought it would be fun to take Jimmy. Yeah. And you enjoyed your yourself there. Very, very much. Sounded good. And uh, for some reason, I don't know why, you, you were taking a ribbing about this whole thing. But And then uh, Colin decided to show up. Well, I guess he heard some of that in the cab. I think what he heard was Anthony pretty much calling him gay. And um, I didn't say that. Well, I do have a statement I'd like to All make. right, <laughs> Colin, your statement. Uh, uh, over the course of his career and life, a man builds uh, a reputation. Uh, if you will, a name. All he really has, what does a man have except his good name? That's what I've done in my years on MTV. I've kept any covert activities covert. Um, then to come in here today to hear my character be smirched as I sit next to a Pakistani driver who's giving me the fish eye, because even he knew when I told him to put it on, because of Jim Norton, the, a loose-lipped nincompoop. <laughs> My whole career now reduced. No one will ever think of the happy laughs they had on remote control. Or, so they'll just think of me as the sodomite boy hunter degenerate. Thanks to the rumor and innuendo of this show. Wow. I think you got a lawsuit. I think I, That sounded like really uh, authentic. Well, I don't think I have a lawsuit because if we just leave it at what we know, I'll yeah. be fine. Oh, okay. I don't want people to start uncovering old skeletons. <laughs> really digging up the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> but it was fun. He said you guys had fun and it was entertaining. Oh, it was great. How'd you find the place? Um, how'd I find it? Yeah, did somebody turn I, you on I, to it? I stumbled upon it yeah. accidentally one night when uh, the drugs me must be really good at, at SNL. Time, <laughs> my girlfriend at the time, Fantasia. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was entertaining, but not as entertaining as the Rich Voss comedy tour. Have you heard about that? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, he is a wild. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, well, Voss is trying to put together a comedy tour. Yes. Everyone now is involved with this. Everyone I know is somehow involved with and this. Everyone's walking around very uncomfortably. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And embarrassed. We're now, to uh, avoid eye contact with Voss. Like, yeah, no, no, I'm sure it'll be good. It'll be good. Because it, after last time we had that fun show with everybody making fun of Norton's dumb tape. Yeah. The uh, Then as we walk out, Voss gets chummy with me, even though we've been at odds for like 15 years in comedy. <laughs> we only talk because we both have mutual friends in comedy. That's the only reason we even socialize. So you pretty, he, you pretty much hate, have hated him for 15 years, uh, but because uh, there was a little... A repartee happening yeah. Yeah. Uh, just before vacation a couple weeks ago. Voss now thinks you guys are chummy. Exactly. Well, it's all because he wants to exploit whatever little credibility I have for the, his stupid tour, as well as exploit you guys. And Norton. So, so he's come uh, to everybody with yeah. this idea. Pop-eyed and salivating. <laughs> Although I guess he'd be salivating anyway. <laughs> So he comes with this idea for this uh, comedy tour he yeah. wants to do yeah. that involves you. Yes. Involves Jimmy? Uh, no. No, no. No? Who else does this involve? No, there's a, whole thing with, there's a whole thing with Jimmy, too. He's explaining that his comedy tour won't interfere with Jim Norton's tour. Oh, so now he's not <laughs> stepping on anyone's toes. I never thought it would. I don't think it. I just, I don't right. He's got it all figured That's out. That's even worse. He showed me a contract with all sorts of stuff. He's been showing you contracts? Oh, what? Yeah. I don't know if it's a contract, but just some. Oh. So, so, have my secretary type this up. Daddy wants you to type this. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess the tour would be, uh, the tour's name would be the Comedians of O&A. <laughs> Something that actually and I want to do eventually. Like Something Girls subtle. of Enron. Yeah, exactly. Something like that, yeah. And, and it would it would be f featuring Rich Voss and Colin Quinn and... Uh, and possibly a Patrice O'Neill for whatever Patrice. he was available for. But if it was something you guys would want to do, wouldn't you be the ones to bring it up and not certainly not Voss? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Voss I'm is sure broke a, and he's desperate. That's I'm really what it is. I'm sure it's all an even split. <laughs> 
No, he even like oh, begrudgingly goes, man. maybe you'll get a little extra. <laughs> you know what? You guys are just plain creeps. I was no, you're plain like two faced creeps. Colin, yeah. we booked two dates today. Oh. Are you still in? I'm out. You're lying. Oh, I'm yeah. out. Colin, you're in. Shut I up. I can you. book them myself, stupid. Let me tell stupid. you something. You can't draw in your house by yourself, okay? You're through. You need us now. Shut up, okay? <laughs> Look, it's when I say us, do you mean Opie, Anthony, and you? No, listen. <laughs> <laughs> you booked two dates already? <laughs> uh, you guys have booked a couple dates? Well, you booked, no, like, the Tampa no. Improv? No. <laughs> and some of the market, the only show's the, not on it. <laughs> only the markets are in on it, dummy. No, no we're going to follow a couple transvestite singers, then we go on after it. You probably know them, though. Yeah, but we make sure we don't tell the transvestites what you're getting, oh, you creep. Jesus. I'm going to mention this. Hold on. Awful boss. <laughs> he's a rotten man. He's doing something in Philadelphia, which would probably be... He's, what, oh, you know, well, it, it, he's not responsible for the Philly thing, right? <laughs> No. Uh, YSP. YSP. <laughs> YSP put another thing together uh, featuring Voss that's beyond hilarious. <laughs> what is this one where you're doing with the bands? You're, you're hosting a show with the bands, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm hosting some show. I don't know. They just hired me to host some show. It's not and, a big deal. And they're paying Voss, as they should. And they have... He doesn't to, even know what it is, To bring though. Voss on, they have Frenchie and the retarded Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> oh, no. And this is what this coward says. Don't tell them what I'm getting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you... Creep. <laughs> Don't tell them what I'm getting. That's something that, like, you know, oh. Colin oh. may say to another comic, like, you know, I don't want him to know what I'm getting, so he gets competitive. Right. You yeah. feel that way about Laverne and Shirley and, <laughs> and Frenchie. Frenchie. <laughs> I would tell them what I'm getting and show them the check. And tell oh. them, don't F up my intro, dummies. Oh. Oh, you oh, know you're what? awful. He's standing out there last night in front of the cellar with his, with his <laughs> next, leaning on his broken Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> the window doesn't work. Oh, I heard, yeah, I, washboard abs. I heard you punched Ben because he tried to roll the window down. Yeah. Oh, Jesus! That Christ. doesn't work. Oh. And you, I what? gotta take it to my mechanic. Daddy wants you to fix the window. <laughs> Wait, what happened with the Mercedes that's busted? The window doesn't work. What's the big deal? The Mercedes is old. That was the one Hitler took to the bunker. Oh, it's ancient. Jesus. You know what? You know what? You guys are really crazy. Let's find as much garbage as we can on Voss on Friday. Garbage? We sat in traffic for 40 minutes, you horrible Jew. You wouldn't put in a lot. You're like, hey, there's parking oh, oh, here. Look at Stupid. You said put in a lot a block away. Rich, there's no parking. It's 9th Avenue in Lincoln Tunnel traffic. Where are we going to stop? At the it tolls? was 8 o'clock. <laughs> Can I park here? <laughs> He's awful. And, and, and then we're like, right, we're, I mean, we're stuck in traffic. Oh. He makes a left to go towards Broadway. We're going to 9th and 43rd. He makes a left to go down 7th. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you talking about? 7th was clear. You circumnavigated, went down Broadway, and then all the way back, and he wouldn't park the car. I'm like, dude, go to a lot. He's like, no, there's a spot up there. I'm like, there's not a spot, you idiot. I found it's a, a spot driveway. right. Hey, look at stupid. Did I find a spot right around the corner from the restaurant? Yes, right around did. the corner. Yes, you did. All right. 30 minutes later, you did. Now, that was not my fault. Was you know, graphic. we could have sat there until 10.30 p.m. and gotten plenty of spots. Yeah. It wasn't a matter of there will never be parking Blame here again. the traffic I mean, dummy. <laughs> oh, Eventually, and, all the cars and, leave. Of course. And, 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 and where's stupid Ben? Come on. Ben's you right here. And, and then he tells the girl, come on, hang out with us. And then we drive, and then we get three blocks, and then goes, drop me off here, and leaves me with her. <laughs> she's a nice girl, though. I mean, this she's a, she's, a, she's an ONA fan from Holland. Oh, uh, that girl. Yeah, oh, that makes her a nice cool. girl. I thought she's you a were fan. with her. No, no, no. We we all ate, but I had to leave. And she's not. I don't date her. Right. She's a friend. We just we ate. We all ate, and then I went and did my shows, and she stayed at the bar. You because... left a girl with Voss. <laughs> Why not? What <laughs> happened, Voss? That really is uh, true. What happened with her? I made out with her. Did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> and, then, and then, Voss, is it true you're getting recognized in, in the middle of Times Square there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. By black guys. Yeah, some of the brothers, you know. It's nice. On the way to do a drive-by, they remember <laughs> you from BET. No. <laughs> they were thugs. <laughs> These were not nice young college students. They were on their way to attack Bernhard Getz, and they saw you. <laughs> oh, what? And they loved you. Oh, yeah, you're a funny guy. <laughs> I wish I, was, I could get a tan like that. <laughs> oh, man. Your old Mercedes. You hit the horn. <laughs> man. Oh. <laughs> it's 
where's Colin? He's, he's right, right here. He's, oh, he came into the studio. He's having fun. Well, yeah. he came in to defend himself about something else that happened to oh. The transgender community in me. Oh, oh. I long and... Please. You probably history. came up to your car and you and Norton started singing to each other. What are you kidding? Oh, that was nothing. Yes. I was sleeping. Let it I was sit. sleeping. I woke up. I woke up to this. I'm trying to take a nap. So how's the comedy he's, tour going? He's, well, listen. He was gonna... dreaming about dollar bills flying all over. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Risho. Cancellation. That's what NBC stands for. Not backing Colin. <laughs> all right? Stupid. Oh, oh, that was really mean. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's hey, now I'm going to make fun of your stuff and your career, your highlights. Hey, what about that one nighter in Morristown? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bob, I they didn't hey, like it. Stupid, at least when I put the gig out, I'll find out how long it's going to take me to run home. <laughs> Boss, when are your, when, where are the two comedy tour dates? We don't have any. We're just putting out some uh, <laughs> some feelers. I thought you, you said, said you had, had two, two dates. Oh, we, had, I, we, had, we, we might have one. I left a businessman. Me- feelers. I left a message for someone. It's not the same as booking a date. You just said oh. we have two dates. Oh, I, I kind of lied. I'm thinking of calling Angelina Jolie and asking her out. That means I slept with her, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but not the feelers. No, no, because she doesn't have a unit. First of all. <laughs> all right. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I wish I was in studio for this fight. <laughs> now, well, anyhow, look at dummy. You're still in. All right, and what's the big deal? I didn't come with a contract. I just came with a little proposal. You All came right? with a horrible, <laughs> uncomfortable desperation. No, it wasn't. First to me, and then to Opie. No, you've been battling us since. Listen, you know what? You walked out of the you. studio, and you're like, <laughs> suddenly me and you were best chums. Let me first you know we had a rift many years ago. We you were a road hack. And I was a respected inti- insider. Yeah. In the, the key in the word was community. the key word there is was. Okay, let me <laughs> let me tell you something, you two faced faggot. First of all, oh, let, you know what Colin said. I'll do a tour as long as I make more than Patrice. That's all you said. That was your. Oh, I almost said that was your qualifications. As long as I make more than Patrice, and he should make more than Patrice. Yeah, I was saying man. that to keep it light because I was in an uncomfortable spot. So I was like, "Ha let's goof on Patrice. Let's make a joke out of it." Because you put me in a weird, uncomfortable. No, I didn't put you in a weirdly. I took you. Far head sweating to... energy with your desperate attempt. Shut up! Listen to, to use, me. You were doing. To you, use... were do, you were doing research on other tours. What other comics are making? Research. Don't lie. Research. Research. He was. Are you doing research? Uh, Colin was. <laughs> Colin was. You was really the... think that you're a businessman now, don't you? <laughs> yeah, no. he does. He's feelers and research. No, I wasn't. He was. Shut up. No, he's <laughs> stupid. Did he come with a? Did you have the proposal in a briefcase? All right. And did you try to open it, briefcase? but your little hands couldn't move well, the what did you hand, What did you hand Opie? What did you hand I didn't hand him. Like, oh. was some kind of proposal thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you know. And then, and then outside the cellar, what did he say to you, Colin? Oh, he said, Opie's, Opie's fine with it. First of all, he wasn't even going to ask you guys about the tour. Yeah, was no, was I was the one who brought up the normal thing. I was like, you know, maybe we should ask Opie and Anthony. You know? <laughs> no, they, they put their names on it. Dummy, you didn't say anything. And then anything. you had Rick Dorfman write up a proposal. One of his assistants wrote it up, and then you, you showed it to Opie, so hoping he'd read it to you, because you probably could only read half of it. <laughs> Party of the first part. <laughs> oh. Who's that? It's on me. You know, uh, listen. And still... then every gig you're going to try and blow me out with your dirty act. No, I'm <laughs> not. Patrice. And no, then you're going to be like, we got to switch, you know. You're great, but and then you're going to no, no. slander me behind my back to all the Jersey one-nighter guys. Oh, yeah, you know. <laughs> I, see, I can see it all now. Shut up. <laughs> Here's Voss uh, talking to Colin, first night of the tour. He was banging cocktail waitresses two at a time. Oh, angry. Oh, man. And a man in my position can't afford to be made to look ridiculous. <laughs> you hear that, boss? You're trying to book yourself high-profile MC gigs. This really bugs me. Oh, you know what, dummy? Shut up. You're on my side, so don't turn on me now. I'm not turning on no. you at all. I'm all right, you said it's a good idea, all right? You also he didn't you know, know what else to say. It was a polite thing to say to a friend. Oh, Norton please. pities us all that What's we can't that? even. That he had, and you had the nerve to say we won't interfere with your gig. <laughs> he knows that, stupid. You're He'll right. We'll be working theaters and we'll be working funny bones. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Jim, if this in any way gets in the way of you, we won't do it. <laughs> oh, Jim's oh. just sitting there pitying us all, stupid. Oh, you know what? <laughs> you know, you're just like. <laughs> You're like a broad. 
Oh, you know, you're still doing it. You're not backing out. Uh, yes, I am. No, you're not. I quit. You're not quitting before it starts. You're still a dummy. We're going to sponsor the Colin Quinn Tour. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You know how fast these three personalities would clash? Voss, <laughs> Patrice, and Colin. It would Forget be about it. Are you matches. kidding me? That It would be great. It would be great shows, and it's going to work. All right? You're the shows still would in. be great, yes. I'm talking about behind Someone the Someone wants to know if the tour is going to be called the ONA Midget Jew Comedy <laughs> Tour. <laughs> Come on, folks. Give him a hand, but only a little one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey uh, uh, Rich, the caller on the phone, not Rich Voss. What's up? Hey, uh, listening to Voss speak, it sounds like surgery. Sucking fear. Just want to get all that spit out of his mouth. Shut up, stupid, and go back to work. Uh, yeah, boss, want to talk. You're on the phone. All right, shut up. Yeah, make I, your I, delivery. I, I, make I, your I, delivery and go home. Hey, hey, boss. Make your delivery. Boss, I just like you are. I'm self-employed, you prick. Oh, everybody's self-employed. Yeah, I'm a personal trainer, chef. You dumb oh, little midget. Personal Jew. trainer. Where at the, where at Valley's? No, no, for myself. Thank you very much, boss. At least I can get my hands around the weights. Probably. You know, we give you the three-pound dumbbells because that's the only thing you get your fingers wrapped around. Yeah, I can get it. I can get around Besides your, your, your gherkin. I can get around your girlfriend's breast too. Yeah, that. Yeah. I'm tired of flossing whenever I'm with her. Boy. Boss, ramp. Boss, when you get up off the step stool. Then you yeah. can talk to her. Yeah, that was funny. All right. yeah, you're you're Vo- done. Go back. Voss Vo- said breast because he's trying to show me how he can work clean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Voss, get out of here, man. All right, I'll see you guys. There see you, Rich. Go. Good luck with Bye, this Rich. comedy tour. We look forward to hearing the uh, All right. Next time you see details. me, seriously, don't talk to me. Talk, oh. Go through my agent from now on. <laughs> No more personal contact. Yeah. You know what, Colin? I'm going have Manny toss you if you go near me at the cellar. Colin. I'm going have a restraining order from Manny. Colin. Yes, Richard. Yeah, there he goes. Oh. Oh. Three attempts. <laughs> Colin. Hilarious. I'll get him. Colin. Oh. Oh. That's, like a, that's like a weight off my back right now. Is it? That we've outed voice. Was that just been bugging you? Oh, it's just been yeah. uncomfortable, you know? <laughs> Really weird, and I actually think that needy look. It would be very a great tour, but I know what's going to happen when I see him now. He's going to go. What they said it was okay. <laughs> Every, they, they said it was okay. Everyone's being two faced. <laughs> two faced. He called Colin two faced. Two faced. You two faced oh. bastard. So it's like the Bowery Boys. You're not two faced. Oh, got a T and a D in there. <laughs> I'm self employed. Yeah, <laughs> let's get some sushi. <laughs> Wow, man. Don't tell them what I'm getting. <laughs> I almost strangled him for that. What's wrong a, with you? A French cook and two retards. And two retards. <laughs> don't, don't let them on. These are not power brokers in the industry. They're just nobodies <laughs> who are bringing you up for the fun of it. Mom's the word. <laughs> Mom's the word. <laughs> oh, man. Keep this on the cutie. <laughs> that soupy dreck. <laughs> uh, oh, and he said he was taking a nap and he just woke up. That means one of his daughters had to like shake him. Daddy, this bad mouth in you on ONA. <laughs> I'll get Daddy the phone. <laughs> Dial the number. <laughs> Go grab Daddy the phone. What did they say? <laughs> Are they being too fasted? Two faced. Two faced. Is he also light skinned, you ass? <laughs> All right, Daddy's going to be on the phone a while. Fix yourself a lean cuisine and a tortilla. T- tortillas. Tortillas. Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. He was alive when Kennedy was shot and he pronounced silent L's. You know how disturbing that is? 